day to die. Prepare for running speed! That's right, YouTube. It's the holy grail of Blu-ray 3D, James Cameron's Avatar. Or, as I like to call it, Dances with Klingons. Greetings, YouTube and people of the interwebs. It's Ultra Maximus, and I'm back for another video review, another 3D video review. This time it is Avatar 3D. Um, this is probably the holy grail of Blu-ray 3D right now. Um, the only way to get this uh, Blu-ray 3D movie is either buy the Panasonic um, starter set of 3D uh, active uh, lens shutter glasses, which could be anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. I think they're averaging about three or four hundred dollars in the store. Um, or you have to go online and try to find it um, on eBay or Craigslist or something like that. Um, I have a Samsung television, so I didn't buy the uh, Panasonic glasses, obviously. So I ended up getting mine off of eBay. Uh, I found a user online on eBay. I paid about $95 for the disc. Um, you see this a lot on eBay. Um, and uh, they range anywhere from, you know, 60 to $150, something like that. Uh, most of them are on uh, bids. So when you see one for 60 it doesn't last at 60 long. It's usually going up. Um, around $100 is the average price I've noticed over the past uh, month or so watching eBay. Um, I would recommend, if you're going to go to eBay, if you're going to buy one of these off of eBay, I would recommend that you find a top seller um, who has very good feedback so you know you're going to get a good product and uh, find one that has a buy it now for a price you're willing to pay uh, and just flat out go ahead and buy it. That's what I did. Um, definitely the most expensive single film DVD I've ever, ever, ever purchased. I have bought more expensive ones, but they've been movie collections, movie sets, um, or television series. So... But I really didn't want to wait around uh, for a year to pick this up. I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see um, how good it was in 3D. I actually didn't get to see this movie in the theater in 3D. I saw it in 2D. And um, i got to say, I was, it, was, it was an okay movie. I wasn't all that thrilled with it. Um, basically, it was Dances with Wolves um, with Aliens. It's almost the same exact plot. Um, basically, you're upro uprooting a bunch of native... Um, peoples uh, from their land so that you can uh, strip mine it, essentially, is what it's about. So, um, same tale that's been told over and over in old westerns. Uh, it's just got a sci-fi uh, spin to it. Uh, graphics on it are amazing, obviously. James Cameron did a really great job with the special effects. Um, very long film, a little too long, I thought, originally. Um, and like I said, I wasn't all that impressed by it. Um, it was a good movie, but it wasn't like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. Um, and I thought, well, maybe it's because I didn't get to see it in the 3D. So, this was my opportunity to actually check it out in 3D. Um, looking at the box itself, we got the Blu-ray 3D logo. Obviously, Avatar, it's the pretty standard piece on there. And then this particular one says, not for sale, promotional use only. And then the back side of it, you know, it kind of shows the thing. And then it's got, uh, you know, hey, this is a Panasonic exclusive. Inside, very plain Jane. We just have uh, the disc itself. <clears throat> now, I will say, if you're buying this movie, um, well, we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, talk about the, the 3D effects itself. Overall... I was impressed with the 3D, um, and, you know, it's not surprising James Cameron would do a good job with 3D. However, what really, really got me was how he used it. Um, he literally uses it as part of the cinematography. A lot of the other 3D movies I've seen is like, ooh, look at this, it's in 3D, ooh, whereas this is film, the cin cinematography uses a 3D in the space that is being filmed. Um, everything doesn't have to be in 3D. And 
it was really impressive to see him do it that way. Um, like the jungle scenes, a lot of that's in 3D and it looks very cool, but it's because, you know, you've got branches up by the camera, things are moving around. Um, there's a lot of stuff there. It wasn't, okay, hey, look, we're uh, having a big bird attack a plane. Let's make this in 3D and make the bird fly out at you. And, and that's not what he did. He, he really, really looked at the cinematography. And in addition to the 2D landscape um, of where he's placing things on the screen, he's also looking at the three-dimensional uh, spacing of where he wants to put things on the screen. And that's really what impressed me with this film. Um, the 3D did make the film better for me. Um, that was a big ordeal. I remember, is it a good movie or is it a good movie because it's in 3D? Um, I think that it's probably a combination of the two. Without seeing it in 3D, I think you're losing something. Um, and James Cameron is huge into the 3D movies, and it definitely shows with this film. I recently saw an interview off of TFW2005.com um, where James Cameron actually kind of nudged Michael Bay into doing the 3D. And Michael Bay's using the same 3D crew that worked on this on uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon. So I'm really interested to see what Michael Bay does with it. I'm sure James Cameron had a lot of input of how he should use um, the 3D. And Michael Bay in the interview even talked about how it's all about that spacing, um, using that space, that three-dimensional space. So um, definitely cool there. Let's take a look at a couple of the scenes uh, that I really liked in the 3D, and then we'll talk more about the actual DVD itself, um, where you should get it, why you should get it, how much, etc., etc., etc. So let's take a look at a couple of the scenes. All right, so this is a scene that really kind of turned me around for this movie. Wasn't particularly a fan, but the 3D in this scene was great. So deep and all the people floating around. Pretty cool. This particular scene, you could tell when it was in 2D, was made for 3D. And I'll tell you what, after watching it in 3D, it is spectacular. This is one of the best scenes in the movie. Um, really cool. Everything was shot well. Just looks great. Great scene in 3D. Absolutely great. All right. This scene is probably my absolute favorite in the movie for 3D. When they start walking into the jungle and you see the jungle scape and it just looks spectacular. The use of the 3D imagery with all the different levels in the scenes of the jungle is fantastic. Um, absolutely best 3D scene in the film. Again, this is just another clip from the same scene where they're in the jungle. Um, you know, he walks over here and finds these plants and encounters some of these animals. Um, just fantastic imagery. Um, the way the, the plants and the gun barrel and, and he walks around and it just looks spectacular. Spectacular! All right, so this is another really great scene in 3D when they come into the uh, Hallelujah Mountains. The, these landscapes are just spectacular in 3D. I use that word a lot, but it really, really looks great. Um, if you got a 3D TV, this is definitely a scene that you want to see in 3D.
reminds me a lot of the opening scene to Jurassic Park. Alright, so... Definitely, this movie, I'll give it a thumbs up. It is a must-have, I think, if you're a 3D fan, if you're building a 3D uh, Blu-ray library, I would I would absolutely put this into the collection. Um, no doubts about it. Um, as of right now, you really got to kind of look at how much you want to pay for it. Um, if you have a Panasonic television, absolutely 100% get the starter kit that has this movie in it. So you get two pair of glasses and you get this movie. Um, while I think that the Samsung has the best deal as far as multiple movies, the Panasonic has the best 3D movie that's available out there right now. Um, if you do not have a Panasonic 3D um, television set, then... I would kind of think about it, because this, this disc has absolutely no features. It has Play 2D, Play 3D, Menu Scene Selections, and Setup. That's it. There are no special features on this disc. It's very, 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 very blank. Um, so, that you have to look at, because if you're looking for special features, if you're looking for extra stuff, it, it doesn't exist with this disc. You're just buying this movie in 3D. That's it. Um... I'm presuming um, that eventually this is going to come out once the contract with Panasonic's done. You're going to have probably a five-disc set with this. You'll have Blu-ray 3D, you'll have Blu-ray, DVD, a digital copy, and then um, a disc with special features. However, that's probably at least a year off by now, um, if not longer. So if you don't want to wait for it, um, you know they're out there. You can find them. Um, I got this movie brand new for about $95, um, so you really have to wage how much you want to spend on it. Was it worth it to me? Um, yes, I would say it was. Uh, I really like the film, it looks really good, and I just didn't want to have to wait for it. So, um, weigh those options. If it's something that you want to do, you can definitely find it out there without the uh, glasses at a considerable um, uh, cheaper price. So if you can find it for under $90, absolutely buy it because your average Blu-ray um, 3D DVD is about 40 bucks. So if you can find this for under $100, it's absolutely worth it in my opinion. Um, buy the uh, extended cut that's got the special features if you want the special features and make your own disc set until it comes out. So um, definitely... Um, fun. It was worthwhile for me. Um, the holy grail of Blu-ray 3D at this point. Um, I think it's a definite must to put into your collection. So um, have fun with it. Um, enjoy the good 3D-ness of the DVD if you have it. If not, um, definitely worth a check out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and look for future reviews.